portable speakers. Some are decent, like this Logitech speaker. It has a headphone jack. Sorry, iPhone users. This boy is pretty nice. And some are iPod docks, like this iHome portable speaker. It zips closed and has this cool flip up display. Pop a few batteries in this boy and you're good to go. But we're not talking about these two boys today. Today we're talking about this big boy. The Playmate Cool Tunes. This boy is so big that I had to move the camera up. And it's so big, I have to move it out of frame to turn it around. So yeah, this boy has two massive speakers in the front. And this boy is also a cooler. Space for whatever you want to stay cool. Obviously Kool-Aid. These boys don't need any batteries. You just plug an aux cable in the side and you're good to go. This boy is pretty old. He was made in 1989. Also, sorry, the camera's autofocus is working against me here. They actually brought these back this year, which is pretty cool. We're gonna test the speakers, so we're gonna need this boy. Yes, the destroyed iPhone 4. Don't mind the additional fake camera. We also need a neon colored aux cable to fit the vibe. So yeah, we'll be comparing this boy to the Sony Dream Machine behind me. I'll see you after I listen to the two boys. This boy is pretty decent compared to the Dream Machine. Not a whole lot of bass, but still decent. The Sony almost sounds worse than this boy. I thought the big size of the speakers would make it sound a bit better. Speakers are a bit pushed in. I wonder if that makes it sound bad. Whatever. Anyways, this boy is pretty nice. This is also kind of rare in this color. I could barely find any in this color online. It's in semi-decent condition, I guess. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Remember that aux cables have been around for a while. And if you want to see more videos like this one, leave a comment down below. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next less obnoxious video.